got from either Michael's or Party City. I think the brand is Celebrate. So I'm thinking I got it from Mike. Oh, does it say? Uh, oh, actually, I didn't get it from either place. I got it from Walmart. It was $5.98. I love this simple kind of design. I don't usually like decorating with words, but I love the the wooden background with the white letters and then the tassels. I think I'm going to comb these out a little bit because they're looking a little twisted up. But I thought it was very simple and elegant and it goes well with our decor. So here's the tablecloth I got from Ross. Um, I was looking for a modern kind of fall themed tablecloth and I came across this kind of or burnt orangey color with the gold leaf um, as a tablecloth for the dining room table. And it was um, only $10.99. This wreath, I think I got from Target a couple of years ago. I love the colors and it's made out of wood. I've seen a few of these out about at the stores, so they still have them around. I like how simple it is while also bringing in the season. So I got this crescent moon. I don't know what it is. I don't know like what it is, <laughs> but it's crescent moon shape and I like crescent moons and I like the brass. And this was from TJ Maxx for $7.99. I don't know if I'm gonna put like greenery in it or what, but I just like the simplicity of it and the shape. We'll see if we can fit it in for the fall decor, but it's it's nice. And for $7.99, it's not that bad of a price. This candlestick is from World Market. I already have candlesticks. They're tall brass ones, but I like this one because it was a little bit more natural looking and uh, the texture um, of this edge and the ceramic, the speckled ceramic is really cute. And I also found these um, kind of minty sage green um, kind of ribbed candlesticks that go um, really well in there. So I only got one. I think I need to head to World Market and get another one. Um, but I thought it add to the warmth of the fall decor I was going for. I've got these beads, uh, kind of like this mocha cocoa color. I've had these. Um, I don't know where I got it from. I will, I think I got them from Target last year, but I think I want to make some tassels to add to it. Maybe like four. So we'll see. This guy right here, 20 years. And this cute little guy, his name is What's his name, babe? His name is Noam Chomsky. Get it? Noam Chomsky? <laughs> My sister was here after the tea party and we wanted to do some fall crafts. And I came across this cute little craft that was on Pinterest. Um, I can't remember um, who the originator of the design was, but if I, if I remember to put it in, I will put it in the, in the description or flash it across the screen. But I made this cute little gnome. Now, the reason why I made this gnome is because Mr. Mr. loves gnomes and I wanted to add something a little whimsical in um, as a tribute to him for fall. And I, I made, um, I got the leaves from Dollar Tree. Everything is mostly from Dollar Tree. So I got the frame from Dollar Tree, a witch's hat frame. I got the leaves from Dollar Tree. Um, the burlap I already had. I actually had a table runner that I reused. And then I already had the styrofoam ball and I bought the stocking from Dollar Tree. So it's a really cute craft. If, if it's something that you wanna do with your kids or if you are crafty, uh, I think we're just gonna hang it somewhere in the house. My most favorite and unexpected um, favorite are this flower arrangement that I made from flowers from Michaels. So I got two bunches of flowers, uh, the Ashland, Ashland brand 
fall Ashland brand. It was not $19.99. They were half off. And I clipped each one off. And this container I had from Target. This wooden, uh, I think it's from Magnolia or Threshold or Project 62. Some, some brand at Target. And I've had this for years. And it works so well with these flowers. Look at how pretty. I love the colors. I love the rust color. The little bit of kind of grayish blue. Of course, the green and the cream color flowers. Uh, this has to be one of my most favorite um, pieces ever. And I made it. I also want to find some pillows, some decorative pillows. I saw some at Target that were kind of in like a furry uh, texture, kind of this in the same color as this flower here. So I need to go to Target um, sometime this weekend to see if they still have them. So I wanna make some garland um, from the citrus. So I've got some oranges, lemons, and limes here. So I want to dehydrate them, string them up on a string, and hang them around the house, uh, probably along the mantle. I want to freshen up this minaret door hanger for my front door. Um, so it has a few of these kind of like olive branch twigs here at the bottom. And I want to put some of these fall flowers down along the bottom here and hang it on my door. So um, I've got some flowers here. These are also from Michael's. They were the Ashland brand, $9.99. I think they were half off. So I, I picked up a bunch of them. So all I need to do is kind of arrange them down here. Let's see here. I don't know how I'm gonna put them yet, but I'm just putting putting them here to show you. Look at how pretty that is already and I haven't even done anything. Maybe I should just do it like that. I've got a lot of fall projects I'm working on and we gotta definitely do some cleaning this weekend and get ready for fall. All right guys, see you in a bit. Bye. Fall is starting to make its way into our house. <laughs> I do wanna show you guys this cute little candle my sister and I made. So my sister was here last week and she got this candle making set and I got this wooden, um, I think salt bowl or dough bowl from I think TJ Maxx or Home Goods or one of those and we made a candle out of it. And it looks so cute here on the mantle. I love wood anything. So yesterday I went to Home Goods to try to find some accent pillows for the couch. I just knew that these beautiful copper, burnt orange, kind of rust colored pillows will work well on the couch. But um, when I got them home, they just did not look good together. Um, I was trying to kind of complement this color from this bouquet that I love so much, but it didn't look good. So I'm gonna end up returning those pillows. But what I did find was this beautiful hand-carved wooden candle. I had my eye on this candle for uh, at least a week. The size of this candle will be perfect for my coffee table. So I thought this um, would fit really well with the theme we're going for. I love anything wood. You guys already know that. I love a neutral palette and it's substantial enough to kind of work on the table, um, work on the coffee table by itself. And it really complements my everyday decor. Um, so I'm really happy with that. These are tassels that I made some years ago. Um, I might make some new ones or order some. And then this area of the mantle is missing a little something. Um, so I'm gonna look for something here. I think it needs a little bit color too because it's a little white. <laughs> Alright guys, it's been a few days. 
Remember this candlestick that I showed you that I got from Royal Market for $3.99? I went and found its sister. Now the, the candlestick part is a little bit shorter and I thought it was nice to give a little variation in height. So this one's a little bit taller and this one's a little bit shorter. I also went to Joanne's Fabrics and I found this cute little dish cloth. There is no place like fall. I like this the best because it has that burnt orange color that I like with the little tassels and it's got the little um, gold uh, border and the white letters and I think this will look good in the kitchen whenever I decide to <laughs> clean it. Um, but my favorite find has been this pillow. So I um, showed you guys the other day the copper rust pillows that I got from Home Goods that just did not work out. So when I went to World Market to get a second candlestick, I went through their pillow section and saw this one. And I thought, okay, it has the cream, it has the goldenrod color, a little bit of like tan or taupe. It's got a bit of the rust and brown color. And I brought one home. Um, it was um, $34.99. It's kind of expensive for a pillow, but it's a year-round pillow. I think it'll be on my couch all the time. But it looks so nice on the couch. It fits in so well with my little round um, pillow that I got from Ross last year. And so I got another one. I went back and I got a second one once I saw that the first one um, fit well. And I'm not sure about if I'm gonna leave the black and white one on there. All right guys, so this happened yesterday and I include a little video of how it happened. You sneaky, sneaky man. There are the article dudes with my love seat. Wait, what else? You got the chairs too? Oh my God. It was like a last chair. I think they were very Oh my God. I'm going to get them now. I'm so excited. It was a complete and total surprise. My husband and I had been looking for more seating um, for our living room and we fell in love with this um, kind of forest green sofa from Article and we also had already had our eyes on these um, rattan chairs that remind my husband of home and they arrived yesterday so it has changed my calculations for fall decor a little bit um, so now I have to integrate the new couch the new love seat into my um, my plans and so um, I am looking for maybe one pillow to go um, here on the couch, maybe in the middle, on the sides, I don't know. I'm not going to put any pillows on the chairs, I already talked to my husband, I think this they're better without any pillows because they really are quite comfortable, they kind of hug you inside the chair, so I don't think we need any um, pillows in there. Alright guys, it's a day or two later and I went to World Market and I think I may have found the perfect pillow for the green love seat. So here's the love seat again and there were a lot of nice pillows at World Market but I wanted to keep it simple since we have a lot of colors going on. So this is the one that I found. It's kind of a plain um, basic color but it has this texture in it to add some visual interest and it was um, let me see it was $29.99 and I think it looks really nice here on the love seat oh I got two so I can switch this one out 
as well. Okay, so let's put this. There we go. There we go. Yes, yes, my plan is coming together. Ah, you see, you see. I also found these pretty kind of um, kind of gray blue candles that match the berries in this floral arrangement. And I was saying that it would look really nice if I could put those, um, if I could find candles this color. And they had them at World Market. They're, they're unscented. There's two of them. I believe this was $3.99. So I'm gonna put switch out these pale green ones for these kind of deep blue ones. And then I think we're just about done. And once again, my husband is surprising me with furniture. 